Hey guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to show you how to model this through uh, the rafters. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project. Then I'm going to create some wall and also a roof. And um, select these two edge. I'll check the define slope. And then these two, I'll change that to 45 degree and OK. Attach and have a look. Let's have a look in 3D. So this is a uh, roof. Well, maybe I'll just change that to a uh, thinner roof. OK, so now uh, the rafters. Our temporary height is wall. OK, so now go to structure beam. Low family. Go to structure framing and wood. I'm just going to use this one. And I'll pick a maybe this one. Okay. And now go structure beam system. Set wood plan. Pick wood. Pick a plan and pick this face. And then pick line. Move to the this line and tap, tap, and pick. So now we need to set this uh, distance. So I'm going to use maximum maximum spacing, maybe 600 or maybe 900. Okay, and then that's correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. So now we have this rafters, and then do a uh, repeat structure beam system. Set work plan. Pick plan. Okay. Pick this one. Pick line. Tab, tab, pick, all oh, good. Okay, so now we have this. And now we need to tidy up all this uh, here and here. Okay, so go to um, elevation. So I'm going to select all the wall and temporary height, HH. And also see, uh, we need to change the detail level to medium at least. So we can see all these. So now we need to. Oh, so let me just turn the wall back. HR. So and the WF. So we need this line. Okay. So I'm going to create some reference plane. So pick from this internal face of the wall. So draw reference plane and also the one in the middle. Now let me select all the wall and the temporary highlight. So now we just need to cut these beams using the reference plane go to modify and cut and pick the pick the beam first and click on this reference plane so you just need to need to repeat and depending on how many beam you have so you probably need a little bit oh, that's down so a few minutes a few seconds sorry and then this one as well so pick this one that one and then this one this one this one this one Oops, sorry, I'll just temporary hide the roof as well. Uh, cut this one, this one. Uh, I should drag this down so it just makes them close to each other. To, so it's easier to cut. Okay, down this one. Okay, and uh, this this end. So yeah, it's it's good to have a a nice mouse. <laughs> so like a gaming mouse. So now it's all done, all cut, all nice. Cut. So now let's have a look at this one. So um, probably which I'll just add a skylight there. So a little bit extra. Okay, so. So for the X, uh, for the skylights, uh, there's there's quite a few different ways to do it. So one way, uh, one method is, is you can use uh, click on this roof and then um, go. It's on the architecture, so you can do a vertical opening. So you can just click on the roof and then draw an opening here and then OK. So now that oh, that's an opening there, and then uh, you can also. I'll delete this opening 
delete and you can also do edit footprint and then draw 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 something there okay and of course you don't uh, uncheck the define slope for the opening and uh, I'll just change the uh, detail level to medium so I can see the themes maybe I want the opening to belong to the internal face of the thing so and also do some dimension then maybe uh, 12 on each side and now and okay so we have this opening there so then for the window you can just do a roof as well uh, pick the slope glazing and pick all the edge of course these two on check and these two 45 and okay so now let's go to the elevation sound so we just need to uh, HR turn it back so we select this roof and maybe move it up up somewhere here and then let's have a look in 3D so that's a nice roof rafter and skylights so that's it for today. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.